Hi and welcome. In this video I'm going to let you in on a closely held secret and show you the secret selection tool. Now apart from not being a secret and not being called the secret selection tool, I suppose it's not really an accurate way of describing it. But I do think it's hidden away in a place you wouldn't normally look. Few users that I see uh, tend to use it and many don't even know it exists. But it is an incredibly powerful selection tool. Now this video is part of the subscriber collection on my new website, which is due for launch soon. So for more free goodies like this, please click the subscribe button at the end of the video to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the subscribe to website link in the more area under the video. So let's get on with a big reveal. My name's Ken Fisher and this is Lifelink Training. Now in this video we're going to look at how to master the quick mask tool. If you like making a selection by painting then this tool is for you. And here's how it works. First of all you need to have an, a selection outline in place. So let's do that. I'll choose let's say the lasso tool and I'll just drop a little selection in there like that. Now let's go down to the icon underneath the colour swatches and here it is and this is the quick mask button and it says edit in quick mask mode or there's a keyboard shortcut of Q. So if I press Q now a couple of things are going to happen. First of all your selection outline will disappear. Don't worry it's still there. So the marching ants have gone and second the selection is going to turn red which in this case it does which shows you that this area that's red is selected and the background is not selected. So let's have a quick look at how this is actually working. So if I go up to the window menu and bring up the channels panel, you'll see here that I've got a RGB composite channel and then I've got a red, green and blue panel. And then at the bottom here, I've got this quick mask. And this is what it says. It's the mask. This is how it's working. If, if I turn off the composite, you'll see that this is the mask in all its glory. So wherever's painted black here is selected, wherever's painted white is not selected. It's as simple as that. It's a mask. Okay, I'll just switch that back on so you can see the red overlay again. Now Rubilith is the old style terminology for a quick mask. And it allows us the option to be able to see the mask and see the image as well underneath it, or the selection, or the mask, or the image underneath it. Now at the moment it's red, but you don't have to stick with that. You can change the colour to anything you like. Because it, it may be the fact that you might have a red background. So a red overlay on a red background is not going to do you any favours. So what we can do is change the colour. And we change the colour by going over to the in the channels panel to the quick mask layer. And double click on this little thumbnail here. And that brings up the quick mask options. Now you can have it set to two different ways, the, which is what the colour indicates. Well, at the moment I've got it set for selected areas so that anything that shows up this colour is selected. You can have it if you, if you choose to show the masked areas, but I find selected areas a little bit more intuitive. And then we've got the colour and the opacity. So the colour at the moment is red. So if I had a red background, I may want to change the colour of this to say blue. I can change the opacity, let's say to 60% and then click OK. So now I've got a blue overlay that's 60% opaque. Okay, well in this case I'll change that back because I still prefer my red unless I, I need to change it. And we'll set it back to 50%. And then click OK. Okay, let's try it out. So first let's get rid of this selection. So I'm going to press Q. That will take me out of quick mass mode and then I'll press Ctrl and D just to deselect that selection. Now this is basically a painting tool. So I'm going to need my paintbrush tool active. So I'm going to click on that or I can press the B key. And then I can go and right click inside the image window. And this will pull up the, the brushes panel. And I want my hardness set into a quite high level, say 90%. And then my brush size, well, I don't know, something about 50 pixels maybe on the brush size on a nice circular brush. 
Now you need the hardness at this quite high level. It's almost always what you want to do when you're editing a mask. And the reason is because otherwise you're going to introduce softness that's not actually there. And that's not typically something you want to do. Now I need my foreground colour to be black and white. So I'm just going to press enter or return to, to close that panel down. And I need my foreground colour to be black and white. Now you can do that by clicking these little doohickeys here. I prefer keyboard shortcuts so I'm going to press D to go for default colours of black and white and then X key to toggle them until I get black as my foreground colour. Now the brush tool always paints in the foreground colour so when you paint with black inside of quick mask mode it's going to paint red on the image. Now when you start make sure you're in quick mask mode because if you're not you're actually painting with black. So here you can see I'm not in quick mask mode and if I start painting I'm painting with black on my image and that's going to do you no favours whatsoever. Okay, so I'll just undo that and now I'll go into Quick Mask. Either click on the icon or press Q. And now you can see as mask appeared in the channels panel and what I'm going to do now is start painting. So I'm just going to try and paint over exactly where the pepper is. Now you can change the size of your brushes with the square brackets. So I'm just doing this roughly, but I'll go around there, fill this bit in. And then I'll change the brush size with the square brackets, make it a bit smaller. And just paint over this yellow area because I'm wanting to change the colour of this. So anywhere that's yellow, I need to be masked. And now... Well, I'll tell you, I've, I've got some little bits here where I've gone wrong, but let's go a bit wronger, if that's a good word. Or is it wrongness? Do I have degrees of wrongness? Well, I've got a high degree of wrongness going off here, definitely. But now, because I'm in mask mode and I'm painting, painting with black creates the overlay. So painting with white will take the overlay away. So if I if I go too far, then if I press the X key, it'll set white as my foreground colour. And then I can just paint out any areas that are not quite right. And this is just refining the mask. So I'll press the X key again and I'm back to painting. I'm just going to put that edge in like that. And that bit there. And that looks good. So now if you look at the mask, you'll see that I've now got a black area that is selected and a white area that isn't selected. So if I come out of quick mask mode now by pressing the Q key, you'll see that I've got my selection. Is that not cool? Okay, well when we've got a selection, we've gone through all this, what, what do we need to do with it? Well let's try and change the colour of the pepper. Well we'll go into the layers panel and we'll put an adjustment layer on a hue and saturation one. And what that will do now is create a mask on the adjustment that's been built up by the selection you've made with the quick mask mode. And now by changing the hue slider, we can change the color of the pepper. So we'll take it to red. And you can see, yeah, I've not been as accurate as I could. I've got some little issues going off down here. So what I can do is I can go basically back to quick mask mode again. So I'll press the Q key, make sure that I've got black as my foreground and my brush is still active. And I can just paint in just that little bit extra there. But can you see how it's, it's a little bit difficult? I can still manage it though, but I've got nice red areas. And I've still gone a bit far, so I'm going to press the X key just to nudge that off a little bit. There we go. So now here you can see I've got a little bit of a mask that I now need to add. So I'm going to come out of quick mask mode and I've now got these extra bits to add to this mask. Now I want to fill these areas with white, these little selections I've got. So here I've got white as my background colour. So I'm going to hold the control key or the command key on the Mac down and press the backspace key. And that's going to fill those areas in with white and it's going to just make that selection a little bit bigger just to, to take account of the fact that I've missed a bit. So I'm going to press Ctrl and D to get rid of me selection. And there it is. 
And that, my friends, is the introduction to using the Quick Mask Mode here inside Photoshop. And that's it. I do hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or leave a comment under the video. And if you get a chance, please click that subscribe button at the end of the video. And don't forget, if you want access to a host of free subscriber-only content, then click the subscribe to website link in the more area underneath the video. Find me on Facebook at LiveLink Training and give me a like. It would be appreciated. So I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.